<sighs> G'day lads and lasses. It's getting that time of year, you know, Christmas, New Year's, people are getting all festive and stuff, and it, it's a great time of year, it really is. Getting presents, spending time with family, food, dogs in Christmas sweaters. I mean, I mean look, at, look at the little guy. Adorable. Great time of year except for one thing. So you know it's New Year's, you go to a New Year's party and there's always two kinds of people at New Year's parties. There's those who partake in New Year's jokes and there's those who really wish they didn't partake in New Year's jokes. One particular type of person at New Year's Eve parties who always tells the same jokes every year as though it never gets old. Jokes like these ones. Oh hey man, hey man, where you been? I haven't seen you in a year. Those kinds of people, like, uh, yeah, you have seen me in a year. A year is 365 days, except the leap year. So you would have to have not seen me for at least 365 days for that joke to make sense. But even then, the jokes that do make sense aren't even funny. Oh, <laughs> look at the time, 10 seconds to midnight. Guess I'll see you next year. <laughs> Dude, Mike, come on. Surprise! Ugh. Look, I really appreciate what you guys are trying to do, right? The jokes, dude, they were funny, but when I was like, you know, 10. But the worst joke of them all, I guess it's more of a prank. But when I was a kid, like six or seven, right? My brothers told me right on midnight, there's this great big green flash in the sky. Just as it becomes a new year. Like that's that's the earth declaring that it's a new year or something. Total bull crap, right? Yeah. Don't believe it now. But back then I did. So every single New Year's Eve since I was six or seven, I've waited up till midnight every night, no matter how tired I was, and always kept my eyes open. Just see this green flash across the sky, split second after midnight, until I was like literally 16 years old when I realized time zones, there is no green flash. There is no earth recognizing it's a new year because time zones, do we? This was all a prank all along. A really cruel, stupid prank. And it is by far the longest running, cruelest joke that has existed in our family today. And I'm sure you've probably been told something like on New Year's Eve at midnight that, I don't know, you're gonna see a shooting star across the sky. So I guess the message of this entire rant is this New Year's Eve, try to just limit your New Year's jokes to one per person. I don't wanna sit there and be barraged with the full monty of uh, oh, I'll see you next year. Oh, I haven't seen you in a year. Okay, I get it. They were funny when I was 10. Not so much now because they've been told so many times to me. It's become like second nature just to hear a New Year's joke. That everyone expects it when they go to a New Year's Eve party. There's gonna be someone who's just gonna tell all the New Year's jokes. They have to. Come on, dude. Don't make people suffer through that. Ah! I'm done. Rant over. Hey, lads and lasses. So, it's been a very long time since I've done a rant. Um, this is a room that isn't being used, so I don't know, maybe at some point this will become a studio or something, but I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and, I uh, had a Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year's. So I'm going to see you all next year. There's probably going to be another video before the end of the year. Um, and yeah, I'll update you know, you at the end of that, I guess, or something. Maybe I'll put it out there next year. I'm going to be in Japan anyway, so I'm out. Bye.